Hey, this is Redman, coming to you live from the Fillmore in Philadelphia for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony, hands clap. Wow, come on, Philadelphia, make some noise. We're here. Wow, how exciting is this? Brian Redman, Hi, here, everybody. Guys. We are live from the Fillmore Theater. It is packed. <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, I mean, we did it. We sold it out. Minds were blown. We were just in Philadelphia in March. Yeah. Some, and, and people, people, yeah, some crazy. people said we were coming back to this market way too fast. Too big. But it's standing room only. Look, there's like fire ads that exit How blocks. exciting yeah, is this? Make some noise so these listeners can hear you, Fillmore Theater. Good God. <laughs> Out of control. We're so excited to be back. We're pumped to be here. How many of you were at uh, any of the shows that we had here in March? You guys are unbelievable. It's amazing. <laughs> loyal, loyal following we have here in Philadelphia. Uh, Ryan Shabell couldn't be here, but he did send along these amazing uh, brotherly love Philadelphia special prints uh, that uh, we'll be signing for you after the show and also available after the show the brand new album from Reagan and Watkins how about that uh, climbing to the that charts. album cover so cool uh, special shout out to uh, Alex Yurkaba and Mike Sosnowski for the amazing look at this special Philadelphia right, Kill Tony bucket special that. Eagles font this place is crazy. Hey, look, there's a photographer. Look what I did for you. There you go, oh, buddy. Shit. Two seconds. Uh oh. Oh, shit. All right. There you go. The show is live. Anything can happen. We're excited to be here. Uh, as always, with all these road shows, which we have a lot more coming up. Next week, we're in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And, uh, well, tomorrow we're in Pittsburgh. I think yeah. that's sold out. That but, is sold out. Uh, Whoa, they're booing Pittsburgh. Welcome wow. to another episode of Kill Tony, where cities that should be supporting each other push each other down. Yeah. Just so booing weird. an entire city of people, which is not easy to do when you live here in Philly, by the way. I don't know, I don't know what you guys think you have going on here, but I saw, <laughs> I saw a lot of damage today. Oh, yeah. It's I like mean, this Fallout, place, that video game Fallout got around here. Dilapidated. <laughs> I mean, it is unbelievable. Just the design of your city. Yeah. Well, how the streets are laid out. What's a one way? What isn't? Nothing makes any fucking sense. Yeah. I saw burning corpses on the Cobbs <laughs> Creek Parkway today. <laughs> Had to take a detour. Yeah. That woman that was eating like a dead bird. Remember when we there was a lady eating a dead bird. Yeah. What can I say other than that? You can't make it up. Dead bird and a lady. It was like corn on the cob. It was weird. Yeah, it was like corn on the except it was a bird. Yeah. It wasn't a cob at all. It was just a bird, dead bird. Yeah. Uh, as with all these road shows, we're going guestless tonight. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, also, you know, Kill Tony Mania oh, yeah. coming up in San Francisco and Sacramento. Don't sleep on that. And huge announcement coming. Well, I'm going to guess on Monday. I'm going to say Monday's episode. Huge announcement to close out the touring for 2019. Spoiler alert, we will not be back in Philadelphia in uh, this year. <laughs> we've been in Philadelphia more oh, yeah. than we've been almost so anywhere. Much. But that's just a, 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 a sweet tale of the sport. How's the balcony doing up there? Jam-packed, I'm telling you. Fire hazard galore up there. <laughs> Uh, this is so exciting. Uh, but this is it. I mean, I will say this. This is the biggest, most beautiful venue Kill Tony has ever been at. So it really let's is. make it special tonight, shall we? Look at those chandeliers. 
As with all of our road episodes, there is no guest tonight. Gives us more time to run the real inside scoop with the show, find out more about the people, and plus it gives us the time to let the band speak up every now and then because there is a band here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania tonight. It's one of my favorite things in all of comedy. Every single episode, they commit to being characters. Maybe it's the return of some of their famous characters. Maybe it's a brand new character we've never seen before. Uh, so let's all find out what they are tonight. They're going to be with us the whole show. I present to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joelberg Joel Jimenez. Uh-oh. Whoa! Wow! Shanks is here. Oh, shit. This is serious business, people. Two of the most popular characters in the history of the show have made it to Philadelphia. Of course, I'm probably guessing that you guys got in trouble here in Philadelphia in March and are just getting out now. Yo, those dead bodies you saw, that was us. <laughs> Jeez, you guys haven't even been tried for those crimes yet. That just happened. So, Shanks, welcome back to the show. Yo, what up? Shanks is in the building. Shanks has an actual shank on him tonight. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, I actually got this through TSL. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> TSL? Wow. And then remind me of uh, your name. Big Panic, dog. Oh, Big Panic. That's right. Happy to be behind the drums, fool. They don't have these in prison, dog. <laughs> My goodness. You guys seen uh, any big celebrities in your prison time? Did you see... Uh... Yeah, the Lion King, fool. <laughs> what? Yeah, they locked that fool up, eh? <laughs> okay. he, he killed Scar, dog. <laughs> they tried him for that? Yeah, you gotta be tried, fool. <laughs> okay, big pain. Yo, I, I saw Julia Roberts once, but then again, I think it was just a dude with his dick tucked between his legs. <laughs> oh, that could have been. My goodness, I'm so excited you guys are here. We're going to have so much fun. How about a hand for the band, guys? We're going to do this shit tonight. Coming in hot. A lot of cities wish they could have shanks and fucking big panic. But no, Philadelphia got it. Well-deserved. Uh, so we have uh, them, and we have this, the Bucket of Destiny, everybody. A bunch of people signed up. Philadelphia's very own custom-made Bucket of Destiny. Um, and you know how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 un uninterrupted seconds. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry Gaberhood Bear. There you go. Okay. Okay. Very good. This is exciting. You guys ready to start this fucking show or what? Staircase right down the middle. You can't mess that up. No way you can mess that up. This is so exciting. What a beautiful place. All right. Your first comedian going up tonight goes by the name of Mateo WM. Wow. So he's already got a fan. Mateo WM. Here we oh, go. Good. One more time for Mateo WM, everybody. Yo, what up, Philly? All right, yo, so September 20th, let's talk about it. Um, Area 51, anyone know about this shit? Yeah. Who signed up? Good. Um, to me, you know, I think it's just going to turn into, uh, air, like, it's going to turn into Burning Man for uh, incels and fucking dorks. <laughs> Um, instead of, you know, EDM music and art installations, they're going to listen to Ben Shapiro and just, just hate women. <laughs> um, at the end of it, you know, after they Naruto run into machine gun fire, instead of burning an effigy of a burning man, you know, they're just going to get taken out by hundreds of hellfire missiles. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, you know, the dead bodies, uh, walking down here to the Fillmore, just about a block away, we saw a guy looking for crack. My girlfriend talked to me, she said, why would you say that? He's probably looking for something else. I said, yeah, he's definitely not looking for his grandmother's engagement ring. He had a black words hat. Wow. All right. Mateo WM. Wow. There you go. Bravo. Bravo. 
Hey, Tony. Eddie Bravo. Would have loved what you talked about up here tonight. <laughs> a lot of conspiracies. By the way, Eddie Bravo uh, making his Kill Tony debut coming up this Monday. Oh, a very yeah, special great. conspiracy episode of Kill Tony. Uh, welcome to the show. Yo. <laughs> How are you, Mateo? Uh, I'm doing good, dude. How you doing? Good. Was that your first time on stage? Um, first time doing comedy on stage, definitely. Hell yeah. Well, we, what was your other times on stage? I, uh, I, uh, I play music. So oh, yeah? Yeah, this is Bruno Mars if he wasn't talented. <laughs> <laughs> and shorter and uglier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, welcome, welcome. You said that this is your first time doing comedy on stage. What else have you done? I mean, like, what do you do musically that... Uh, um, right now I'm jamming, but in college, I graduated, like, last year, but I played... What'd you graduate shows. with? The de- you graduated with a degree in? Uh, biology. Biology. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. And so, let's talk about that. You're in a jam band, you said? Um, we do some jam, rock and roll, reggae, bunch of shit. What do you do in the band? I uh, play bass, switch off guitar sometimes, and I sing. Oh, wow. Can you give us a little example of, like, a lyric <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> Uh oh. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like your style. Take me to the river and wash me in the water. And I'm gonna tell you something now. Joe Burton got a mustache in his lap. Hell yeah. Hey, yo, Jeremiah, with that sax. Oh shit. Give me that sax. Let me hear some fucking shanks. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, baby. Alright, we chill. Alright. Now stick with me, Mateo. You're not going anywhere. Yo, don't drag me into that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're gonna get a man. Mateo, you are you have a fucking interesting look. What is your ethnicity? You Ita- what are you, Italian and fucking Puerto Rican or something? Uh Italian and Peruvian. And Peruvian. S- ah. Sicilian. Sicilian and Peruvian. By the yeah. way, your your singing sounded like little Richard constipated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Take me to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo. So let's talk about it. You said you came here with your girlfriend? I did, yeah. Wow. I mean. <laughs> well, you're leaving here alone, fool. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Sesame Street kid all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that. That's exactly what you look like. Mateo, what do you do for work? I'm in uh, pharmaceuticals. Oh, yeah? What the fuck does that mean? I make cancer medicine. Really? How do, you, how do you do that? You sit in a lab? Sort of. Yeah, it's like a big old kind of lab area. Library. We, we put things in bioreactors and they grow cancer medicine antibodies. Why did you do this when you said bioreactors? Because I don't think anyone really knows what a bioreactor is. So. I do, fool. I read in prison, dog. <laughs> <laughs> tell him, tell him uh, the big panic. Explain to him what a bioreactor is. A bioreactor is when like, a guy likes girls and guys. <laughs> Just can't beat that. The old home run derby king over there, big panic. So it's just like a giant, like, it looks like a distillery, except they put, uh, like, media in there for cells to grow, and the cells secrete antibodies, and those antibodies... Okay, okay, that's enough. Yo, this dude is a nerd, man. (laughs) Is that true? Are you a nerd? You seem like a cool guy. That's what's interesting about you. You look like a child, but you have the body of, like, the stepfather that would beat me or something <laughs> like that. Get your shit together, kid. I read. I do read. Yeah. So, uh, you work out a lot? Uh, push-ups and pull-ups and sit-ups. Yeah, yeah, your chest is huge for the rest of your body. Oh, no, Whoa, look at that. making a twitch. Look at that. He's got the little baby lesbian body, and he can do that. He's You're built pet. like a frog. <laughs> I mean, it's like... It's like Rhea Perlman's baby boy or something. I always wonder what it would look like if her and Danny DeVito popped out a baby. I know. Not you, Dan, it's not Danny DeVito. Yeah, Wait. it's Danny, Danny. Is that who they're? Yeah. Danny DeVito yeah. and Rhea Perlman? Do yeah, you, okay. Is that Nailed your it. natural hair or do you curl it? No, it's, I just, it's curly, dude. Do you think someone would do that to themselves? <laughs> no. no, everything's perfect in my life. I gotta really fuck up my head. <laughs> you think he sits underneath one of those heat things the, yeah. the, 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 that moms used to sit under before they realized it gave them all cancer? Yeah, no, no, this That's is not true. What, what kind of shampoo do you use? 
Uh, Head and shoulders? It, it was like a Morocco curl thing. I don't know. Oh, My mom damn. got it for me. Wow. We see, we see who wears the... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boy. All right. Nothing. Hey. Hey, how many push-ups can you do? I can probably do maybe 50, maybe over. Wow. Shanks, how many can you do? You've been in prison a long time. Let's do it. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, he's taking off the jewels, ladies and gentlemen. My feeling here, let me just tell you my prediction here. I think Shanks is going to be able to do 50 <laughs> as well but I feel like his form is not going to be quite the same <laughs> as Mateo WM's. So do, do <laughs> <laughs> He's stretching for push-ups, ladies and gentlemen. How are we, how we doing this? Like one and... Like yeah, you guys got to both go down at the same time. Okay. And, uh, and then you guys try to go at the same speed, you know, keep an eye on each oh. other at, on your peripherals. Okay. Or should we see who can do 50 first, like the fastest? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That's Done. Yeah. Well, no, that's, Comp- not, that's, that's not fair. Mateo has much longer arms. I think it should be uh, beat for beat. I think we should just spend the next three minutes of our lives <laughs> what, watching What are we this. doing this? In between every push-up... We kiss. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, no. You fools are you fools are homo reactors, fool. <laughs> Jober. <laughs> My favorite thing wasn't even the joke that Shanks just made. It was Mateo's reaction. Like, what? <laughs> we have to kiss, dude. Oh no, it's okay. All right, here we go. They're going down. Wow, look at this. Oh, they find out in a wrestling stance. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is one of the worst ideas we ever had. (laughs) 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. They are looking in each other's eyes, ladies and gentlemen. They have to make out at the end of this. It's definitely going to (laughs) happen. Big Panic is on the scene. He's watching. He's probably about to rape Mateo right now. He's really, <laughs> he's really eyeballing Mateo. <laughs> this is incredible. They have to be, what do you guys got, 31, 34? Oh, keep oh. going, keep going. <laughs> Shane, Mateo's, fuck. <laughs> Big panic is breaking the rules. Oh, here Slowing we down. go. Now they're here, whispering here we go. sweet nothings. Uh, you got 28. You, yeah. No, you guys are at, I'll say, 40. 41. <laughs> wow, Shanks, <laughs> much like I predicted earlier, the form is really starting. <laughs> this looks like one of Philadelphia's bridges. <laughs> it's very shoddy Look right now. Look at his butt, it's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Shanks, is, Shanks is at 48. His ass is vibrating. 49. Shanks, make it a good one. <laughs> okay, 50. Wow. Uh, that was incredible. Oh, Mateo oh. is standing over him. Oh, my goodness. Mateo looks like he's going to ride him, like in the never-ending story. It's a weird reference. Oh, God. It's a Falcor and hey, Mateo. Step away from the talent, fool. All right. Mateo, come up to the mic one line. Tell us something that you, you're, you'd be embarrassed for us to know about you. Uh, hey, yes. Another hand for Shanks. Oh, fuck. 50 push-ups. Um, I think I wet my bed until I was like 12 or 11. Oh, I was so yeah. hoping you were going to say like 23 just then. <laughs> wow, 12 or 11. Man, I just killed myself with this crowd. They gave me nothing, dog. <laughs> yeah, push-ups. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just push-ups. It's just push-ups. <laughs> just push-ups. <laughs> I, is this is this Shanks or is this Jeremiah over there? Because uh, Shanks is in prison a lot. He does a lot of push-ups. I've never <laughs> heard my friend Jeremiah ever doing a push-up. So it seems like... All right. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> Man, you turned that uh, weight gain challenge fat into some real muscle over there. Look at those tatas. All right. Uh, Mateo... Uh, Congratulations on uh, attempting stand-up tonight. Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Kill Tony for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, I man. love this show, watching for years. I love it. Well, awesome. We love Thank you. you for Thanks coming, for dude. doing push-ups. Thanks for coming up here. Thank Go you. to an open mic sometime. Fucking try. Try. <laughs> Jeremiah really does seem bummed out. 
<laughs> if Jeremiah has a heart attack up here from doing 50 push-ups, it's going to be so sad. I really think they did way over 50, by the way. Were you keeping count? Yeah. We had like you 60. counted 70? Wow, 70 push Come on, make some noise for Shanks, everybody. One of, one of Shanks' old prison buddies counted for him. <laughs> All right, one word name. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Dane. It's Dane. Here he comes. There was a second there where I was hoping it was Dane Cook, and he was doing an arena in town tonight, and he just signed up to be funny. Oh, we just met this guy, right? Here he is, Dane, everybody. How y'all doing? Man, you guys ever just choke on your own uh, you know, saliva? Uh, you guys are attractive. I, I'm not ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Um, so I got fired a couple weeks ago. Uh, yep, yep. It was one of those where you get fired, but you were trying to quit. So it's, you know, it's right in the middle for me. Uh, I wasn't ready for being fired, though, because I didn't have my finances set up that way. Uh, so it's just been rough. You know, I've been 2 a.m., video games all night. I don't know what to do with myself. I got a new job on Monday. Um, you know, this kind of feels like I'm rambling a little bit, doesn't it? That's what it kind of feels like to me. Uh, anyways, Jesus, 60 seconds, really? <laughs> feels like at least it's like 50 push-ups. Hey, Dane, there you go. Welcome, Dane. So first time doing stand-up, right? Yeah, yeah, so we, yeah. I think we, pretty, uh, we have a pretty good uh, idea of what's going on. The choked on saliva thing. Did you pre- pre-plan that? Uh, I, I was actually choking on that. saliva. <laughs> so you, when, well, what part did you start choking on You want to be choking saliva? on more uh, saliva? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shanks nice. wants to get all up in that throat, dude. <laughs> uh, I started choking on saliva earlier today when, um, when I had an issue with my seat somewhere over there. Uh-huh. Couldn't figure out where I was supposed to sit. My ticket said one thing. A man said another to me. Right. It, you know, he's so like, I, just, I just moved about. That's he's really like, dude, it. you could sit wherever you want, bro. Right. Well, I mean, you know, it's with the jam-packed. It's it's, uh, jam-packed. Do you have a lot of saliva in your mouth? Oh, Jesus. Do you have a lot of saliva in your mouth usually? <laughs> a lot uh, of what? The saliva. Hell? Oh, boy. So, I don't know if you could tell, but I have a, a large neck beard. Uh, it also means that I am a subreddit moderator. Um, so, yeah, I, pr- I produce a lot of saliva is what I'm trying to say. Oh, gosh. You ever been butt-fucked by a cholo? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Have yeah. you, Dane? Have you ever been butt-fucked by a cholo? No, no. Would I'm you a, like to be? I'm a total top. A, a what? I'm a Not total, in my house. Total top. I'm a top. He's a top. I do the fucking. Oh, yeah. is that true? Yeah, I mean... Have I'm, you ever had sex with a cholo man? No. What kind of men have you had sex with? Uh, to be honest, Grinder is not a, a happy place for many men, so I just, you know, it's, it's a bisexual thing. I like women more. Men, you know, I had... Yo, four... man, you still gay, then. Oh, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Uh, so how many men to women have you had sex with? Like, what's your, about your ratio? Oh, man, it's going to sound like I'm... Say it slow. Uh. <laughs> so I've actually counted because I was concerned for myself at a point in my life. and uh, Say that again? I've actually counted because I was concerned for my well-being at a point in my life. Um, it's 20 women and five men. 20 women and five men. Hell yeah, the, the ladies love that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you quarters. <laughs> Those women that wooed at that must be real sluts, I yeah. bet. That's my guess. Is they're like, yeah, 25 people. That makes me less dirty. <laughs> right? Now, when you fuck women, do you like just fuck their butts mostly? No, no, it's not like that at all. It's it's really wow. just a, uh, you know. Welcome to another episode of Inside want... the Actor Studio with uh, <laughs> Brian Redman, asking the deep emotional question. Oh, uh, you fuck all, you fuck the girls' butts too. It's okay. When you get to heaven, do you want God to say, "Do you fuck their butts"? <laughs> <laughs> James Lipton. Yeah. Never mind. I got it. I got it. <laughs> 
So uh, the tw- what was the last one you hooked up with, woman or man? Woman. And what it's was that like? How did that go down? Just a random hookup, internet, <sighs> uh, old no, friend? Bumble? 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 Yeah, uh-huh. it's a thing now. Um, yep. So it was Bumble. Uh, and yeah, I mean. So how, where'd you guys meet? On Bumble. I, I'm saying like when you physically met each other. Uh, okay. Fuck you guys for laughing at that. <laughs> ah ha ha ha. Ah ha. Let's, let's poke the bear tonight. Huh? Um, well, where did we first meet? Oh, uh, she worked at a supermarket in a bakery. You met I- her at the place that she works? Yeah. Hey, what's up? I just met you on Bumble. Hey, let me... She, let me- she, that was her idea. I mean, I wasn't... Okay, so you show like- up to the supermarket. What's going on? She's like, hey, there's about to be a spill in aisle four. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. It was more like uh, I, you know, just was sitting back there in the bakery while she did her, the remainder of her prep work for the rest of the day. <laughs> wow. How long did you stay there for? You just hung out? Oh, yeah. I didn't know. I don't, Give I, us a I ballpark. Don't try to be funny. I'm asking you a I'm, fucking question, man. I'm dead man. serious. I'm dead How serious. long did you sit in the back of the bakery watching her bake? It, it was easily two hours. I'm not two I'm not hours. <laughs> Perfect. I, that is the most frightening shit I've ever I, heard in my life. <laughs> the thought of you staring at this innocent girl who's like, hey, I'm at work right now, and you're like, I'm on my way. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just sit in the back and watch you, babe. It's the yeast I could do. <laughs> Stupid. Baking jokes, people. What do you want from me? Improvised bakery jokes. So you're sitting there on a fucking bag of flour, she was jerking me off, treats. right? Just slow stroke, low slow stroke, and it red pubes just flying in the air. <laughs> the carpet doesn't match the drapes. All right. What did I tell Yo. you about trying to be funny? The fuck did I tell you about trying to be? funny? You want to put that money where the mouth is? I think this audience wants to see those pubes. <laughs> Is that true? Are you really saying that your pubes are a different color than the rest of you? What, 100%. 100%? How many of you want to see this guy's pubes right now? <laughs> Place goes crazy, dude. I got bad. Just the pubes, by the way. Do not pull out your dick and balls right now. Are, are we live? Are we live? Pull out your pubes, you idiot. Who the fuck are you? What color are those pubes, Shane? Yo, dog, those are red as hell. <laughs> yeah, those are red. What the fuck do you mean the carpet doesn't match the drapes? That's the exact same color as your face. They're what? even brighter red. <laughs> Dude, it looked like you had William Montgomery in a leg lock down there, bro. <laughs> I mean, you are in pure fucking pubic denial, my friend. Well, his beard is a different color than his top of his head. Like, it's all fucked up. Yeah. I'm not. There's a lot going on there. Did you dye the top of your head? I did not. It's just blonde like that. Yeah. So it goes blonde, red, red. Yeah. When I was a child, you're like used an to be... old school Hulk Hogan T-shirt or something yeah, like or that. Butterscotch. A lot of yellow. I do that joke on Kill Tony recently. What did I do? Yeah, that? it was. Funny. I did. That was Monday. That's yeah, so it was funny. funny. I'm like, oh, maybe it was one of the other shows. I was just. It ripping. worked both times though. <laughs> okay. So Dane. First of all, the carpet does match the drapes. I, all right, we're talking about like grandmother's, old grandma's house style, <laughs> where like everything's the same color, usually pink or light blue or bright red. <laughs> so uh, um, tell us something about you, Dane. You have a new, ju- you just got fired. Where'd you get fired from? I'd rather not say the name of the company. <laughs> fired? Who gives a shit? Where'd you get fired from? I mean, it was a company. Twice. I did IT work for like a company that did okay. like. Okay, you're yeah. right. I don't want to know about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what's the uh, What's the job interview you have on Monday? IT work for a company that uh, just, you know, intermediary company. What did you, uh, you, what'd you, get, what'd you get a degree in? Uh, I dropped out of high school. Dropped out of high school, and you have yeah. all these IT jobs. That's weird to me. That's not really an industry where I see a lot of people getting not college uh, degree work. How do you do that? I I just uh, I built my own computer, and you know, oh. just super nerd Hell yeah. kind of thing. I have always been involved in technology oh. since. Uh, have you been on the dark web? Yeah. What What have you purchased off the dark web? <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> red pubes. I actually have a. <laughs> 2 a.m. video games. That's your thing? Uh, yeah, watches you kill Tony. Yeah? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, Keltoni's only what an hour and a half a week or so, right? Yeah, but so, you got you got to binge it. Like you save up, and then you I can bet just you do. Knock it down. So uh, let's talk about these dudes that you fucked before. <laughs> uh, so how does that happen? You just go to their job at the auto shop and watch them work for two hours, and then just fucking <laughs> butt fuck them. No, no, it's more of a it's romantic. A mu- it's more. <laughs> It's a mutual thing, actually. They go to, you know, a, an application called Grinder, for example, and you know. You put a lot of your uh, success on the app that started the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for Grinder, I probably would have never got my dick sucked by a man. So, like, where does that happen, for example? So, like, when you got your dick sucked, you take him back to your place? No, no, fuck no. Fuck no. Why do you say fuck no like that? Um, Because the dudes that I hooked up with, there's a reason there was only five. Why? They were were all on the same basketball team? No. (laughs) They were all equally as disgusting is what I'm trying to say. Were these the Philadelphia 76ers we're talking about here? The 69ers now. Hey. Yo, you need to you need to stop acting like you cool and stuff. Like, it's like talking about how disgusting these dudes are. You still gay, man? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you let them suck your dick. And like yeah. most, and like most gay it's men's true. places, <laughs> the carpet does match the trays. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Honestly, I have black pubes. They're just a little short right now, so they're. Oh, you, know. you have nothing but excuses in the pube department, dude. You have all excuse specialists down there. Okay, so let me just get to the final question about this. What's the shadiest thing you've done with another man? Uh, uh, Come on, tell the oh truth, man. dude. Oh, uh, So, I mean, he had the truth will set you a free. wig. He had a wig. Oh, okay. yes. What he, kind of wig was it? Did it have yeah. red pubes all over it? No, no. It was a uh, it was a wig. Though. What kind of wig are we talking about? Talking like fucking gray, Uma Thurman and Pulp Fiction, hair, like a little black one. Gray hair down to his nipples. Uh, Whoa, fucking Devil's he, Rejects he, style. He, he was legitimately about fifty. About Frank, fifty years about old. 50. Gray wig. I, I know I look like I'm thirty four going on forty, but I'm actually twenty two. So no, uh, you're not. Uh, you are I not twenty two. Oh my! I, I let, me, let me see you I'll real show quick. You my ID right I, now. I believe you. I believe you. You want to see his ID? No, I wanted to see him, just so I know who I'm making fun of. <laughs> All right, you can turn around now. Wow, that <laughs> totally took advantage of you, man. <laughs> I was I was 18 when it happened. 18 yeah. when it happened. Yeah. Oh I, my I've god. Not, I've not done anything like these crazy shenanigans. It's okay. Then. It's not shenanigans. Wait, what what that's, church that's was not, it at? What not, church was it at? It, <laughs> Philadelphia Catholics. So where did where did it really go down at? You met this guy on I, it was, it was Grinder in, a, in his house. In his house, he's like, "Hey, come on over. I'm just a fucking." Yeah, he was super aggressive about it. If I'm being honest, and, but that sort of probably what turned you on. Uh, I, yeah, you know, I had a I had like this whole complex with wanting to put myself into weird situations. And Hell yeah! What's my your relationship out? with your father like? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Disappointing. Honestly? Tell, tell me, the way you said honestly, I feel like it might he's, be really great. No, he's dead. He died, in, he died when I was 18. <laughs> I was literally just going to say, did he die when he found out that you fucked a 50-year-old man in a wig? Is that, is that what happened? Did he die no. fucking you? Or like a... <laughs> too far, Red Band, too far. No, uh, no, I... Uh, he, he died of a heart attack, natural, natural heart attack. I mean, at 56, though. Super, some of that you know, super sad story. Heart Just attack music. <laughs> wow. So uh, was it before or after you hooked up with the guy with the wig? The it, old was, it was before. It was before. <laughs> it, was, it was Wow. Before. So your dad died, and you immediately started <laughs> being interested in fucking dudes. Yeah. You think that maybe you were looking for love from a man in place of your father? No, No, of course not. No, that would be silly. (laughs) It would be silly. (laughs) It would also be psychology. It's a crazy thing. So, I'm going to finish this up. You've been up here way too long. Uh... (laughs) But so then you go to this guy's house, he's wearing the wig and everything, and then what happens? 
Oh, man. Uh, well, you know, he, he asked me if I wanted some tequila, and to which I said yes. And, Hell yeah, because um, you saw what you were dealing with. You're like, yeah. oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to get well, fucked up. You know, with Tinder and Grindr, they, there's this thing that people do with, you know, like taking photos at certain angles that kind of disguise. Oh, no, I know. Appearances. You got fucking, you got fucking. I got got. You got real catfish, dude. Yeah. And, you know, I was just there for the experience. You got your whole aquarium invaded. We fucked. Wow, you guys both fucked each other? No, no, I didn't get fucked. Like I said, I'm a total top. You just fucked him. Yep. You're like, bend your fucking old man ass over. <laughs> Spread those This cheeks. tequila's kicking in, you dirty bitch. <laughs> you still gay. <laughs> there he goes, everybody. There goes Dane. Dane, so much fun. Congratulations. Come on, people. Put your fucking hands together for Dane. Oh, yeah. The band is killing it. Wow. What song is that again? Build Me Up Buttercup. Hey. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Your next comedian is Dorian Vasquez. Here we go. Dorian Vasquez. Here he comes. He's got a hard sprint. Steady pace. One more time, good and loud for Dorian Vasquez, everybody. All right. Uh, 9-11. Uh, when that first plane hit, do you think there was a dude on the ground who was like, hey, only in New York. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fucks with impressions? All right, here's my impression of a New York steel beam. It's, uh, hey, I'm melting over here. All right. <laughs> That's really all I prepared, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I got told I look evil recently, which I get it. Fucking, I know what I look like, fucking... Sucks when you look like Ted, like Ben Shapiro or that kid who upped the price on AIDS pills. <laughs> Every day I wake up, look in the mirror and flinch. Just... There we go. There you go, Dorian Vasquez. Hell yeah. Coming in guns a-blazing. I remember you from your last time on this show. You killed at Helium, correct? I, uh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Look at you, a little humble yeah, pie. Uh, I mean, welcome caught you guys back. At, caught you guys at Skank Fest. It was a great show. Oh, yeah? You were there? Yeah, man. Just, yeah, the Goku's on. That was... Uh... Oh, yeah, my, my shoes. Did you sign yeah, up dude. for that show, too? No, I had to take off for that one. I had another show down in Jersey. Oh, okay. Where do you live? Uh, I live in West Philly right now. West Philly. Is that where you're from? No, I'm originally from Inglewood, California. Uh, how, remind us how you ended up out here again. How do you go from a California fan, obviously, to here? here. Uh, honestly, like, I don't know. I was living in Ohio for a while, and then I said, fuck Why? Ohio. Why were you in Ohio? My, my brother convinced us all it was a simpler place to live. What part I, of Ohio? Columbus. Uh, very good. Good place. Boo. Yeah. Boo. My whole city's made of brick. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so you, you didn't like Columbus. You, like, you, you moved to Philly because you thought that would be better? I was trying to be on the East Coast, but like, I mean, it's, I don't have money, so Philly. Why don't you have money? What do you do? Uh, right now, I'm just freelancing as a videographer. Uh, yeah. My, my unemployment just ran out. So. What was your unemployment from? I was working at a welding school for a while. Just at what? A welding school. Huh. How do you get unemployment from welding school? Were you teaching people how to weld? No, nah, I was uh, career services. So, like, I was trying to find these guys jobs. But how uh, old are you? You look so young. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. You have a girlfriend? No. How long have you been single for? <laughs> wow. I, was that you that made that sound? You just, you just <laughs> Is that you or his soundboard? That was a special. That's some real fucking George Lucas shit. Okay, Brian. Very good. There's your one. That was Shanks. Um, Jesus. 
<laughs> I'm a single no unemployed reason. comic who fucking took up wrestling. I don't fucking date. <laughs> took up wrestling? Yeah, well, we talked about that last. What, what, oh, yeah, you're a pro wrestler. Yeah, I tried it. I, yeah, what's your, what's your name again in the ring? Oh, no, it, uh, that, end, that show ended up falling through. <laughs> what? Am I uh, the only one up, that can't hear? Maybe we need the, can we maybe turn up the monitors a little bit in here? I'm having a little bit of a hearing problem. It's just echoey up here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little more uh, coming from like, it, definitely uh, that mic if possible. That I don't sounds know. Good. It's all good. You guys having fun out there? Check. Right. So Dorian, uh, how often do you wrestle? Uh, I was actually practicing the first time the show ended up falling through because I uh, do video work, so uh-huh. I had to make money that night. And right. So how often do you wrestle? No, I haven't. I haven't actually uh, been on a show yet. I was oh, just been you haven't hit the ring yet. Wow. Yeah, just practicing. What, what kind that? of video work? Uh, I'm the house videographer for like comedy clubs around the city. Oh. Like Helium and occasionally Punchline. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Just working for everybody. Yeah. God, so Dorian, what do, you do, what do you do? What's exciting about your life when you're not, uh, when you're not doing stand-up or videoing other people doing stand-up? That must be sort oh, of Oh, I'm cool. fucking boring. That's uh, about all I do, I'll be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, but what do you do for fun? What's your guilty pleasure? Like, what's something that you really enjoy that you do on a regular I, basis? Apart from wrestling? Uh, but you don't shit. fucking wrestle. So what are you no, talking just, about? Like when you say that, what like are you practicing? Mean? Like, well, I mean, like practicing all that. I'm just trying to stay active, like as far oh, as you like keeping healthy. Oh, you practice a lot. Yeah. Uh huh. So like, what uh, what are what's some moves that you know how to do? Right now, I just uh, last time a uh, dude was trying to uh, get me with a choke slam, like teach me how to take that fall. Um, right. Did you learn how to do it? No, I'm a coward. I realized eight feet in the air is a lot for a short guy. Well, what if someone that was like 5'9 choke slammed you? Do you think you could handle a, that? I don't know. I haven't been choke slammed yet, so I'm no. like just trying to learn how to take that. How, 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 feel how hard that, uh, that, uh, that drum elevated thing is. What, right the? There. Yeah. This? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, Joel. no. I, that'll that, hurt. That'd be a hard fall, right? That would hurt. You're a fucking pussy, dude. That's what you are. That's all I'm hearing. You're like the opposite of mankind. Uh, You're like, ouchie, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, What's the hardest bump that you've taken so far? Anything? Um, I did. Uh, I don't know what the move is, dude. Like, lo- like my I'll tell you what the move is. Just explain it to me. He got to do the, like, the Lex Luger. And uh-huh. Just kind of waterfall. That's a back. Samoan back body drop. There you go. Not kidding. God. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah, you fucking dumbass. You call yourself a wrestler, bro? <laughs> I was going to choke slam you until you fucking went soft on us. Oh, man. So, Dorian, you, you're a wrestler that doesn't wrestle. How often do you do stand-up comedy? Uh, pretty much every day for the last seven years. How often do you videotape other people doing it? I actually, uh, yeah. That's, I do it, yeah. Are you a it, fucking show pony, dude? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I wrestle, but I don't. <laughs> uh, nah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, pretty much every weekend whenever people call me for yeah. to just video. Oh. You jerk off yeah. a lot? Of course. How often? What's your average, do you think? <laughs> At least once a day. D- d- it's a bad habit. Yes, I'm a fucking Dor- Dor- idiot. Dorian, describe describe to Tony no. how you masturbate, and he can tell you what no. the move is. <laughs> oh man, uh, to pictures of Jeremiah Watkins. Hey, hey, I don't know what the fuck just happened there, I but know. I tried to make a comeback and it failed. That's. Oh. You ever been with a guy? No. Oh my God, Brian. What do you think? Lightning strikes twice? <laughs> Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? You think this guy uh, has a one guy for every five play, girls ratio? Do you Four ever play girls. doctor as a child, like with the other neighborhood kids? Wait, what? I'm going to get you out of here, Dorian. We spent too long with all the other people. I mean, an unbelievable set, by the way. Unbelievably yeah, great. But I will give a little tidbit of advice. And I know I didn't even do this for the people that uh, were horrible at this. The two before you. But... Uh, I will say this, is that when you come out guns a blazing like that, 9-11, and you have great jokes, no matter how long the set is, it's a challenge that I have to go through a lot. 
is like if I'm working out a fun bit, right, and say I I'm in L.A. and I only have 15 minutes, if I want to start with that bit, I have to have fucking strong, edgy shit to go after that, right, to yeah. follow it. Because what they remember is that end. And you did as hard as you slammed for 45 seconds, all you needed was one more fucking one-liner to go out and fucking light yourself on fire and be considered a hero. So just always fucking focus on closing strong. If you have to start soft with what, it, what was the topic that you closed with? The little cutie pie joke at the end? Yeah, just looking evil. Yeah, about looking evil. That could go first. Hey, some people say I look evil, even though I don't really see that. I don't think you look evil. I think you look like a likable young man, the kind of guy that would, wouldn't even spend a day in a Trump detention center. You know what I mean? <laughs> They'd be right in like, oh, look at his glasses. Get him out of here. Look at that attempt at a mustache. Come on. Get back into, get back into America. Okay, Dorian. Congratulations. There he goes. Dorian Vasquez. Closing strong from now on. You should close with those bangs that you're getting right at the beginning there. Go to 9-11. You can't really follow a 9-11 show. You either close with 9-11 or you fucking have some crazy shit coming up after that. Go right into abortion jokes. Again, I like to start with abortion jokes. I like to do abortion jokes in the first trimester of my, any set that I do. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Davy Collins, everyone. Old Davy Collins. Here we go. Here he comes. Hell yeah. Here he is. Philadelphia's Davy Collins. So I got uh, four-year-old twin boys. Don't clap for them. They're fucking savages. They're constantly mashing their dicks into each other. I used to think I was pretty open-minded about other people's sexual preferences. But all this toddler docking going on in my house. It made me realize I'm a, I'm a hardcore bigot when it comes to incest. It's just fucking gross. Um, there, uh, I was thinking about, like, with all this docking going on, do you think that, like, in 60 years from now, people are going to start to accept incest like we're accepting regular gay people? Thank you. I fucking love it, Davey Collins. Welcome. Thank you. It was great. I loved it. You, st you talked about yourself, something that only you can talk about. You got twin boys bashing their dicks into one of e each other, into each other's dicks, and then you followed up with an, a, 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 a smart little incest thing. I've always sort of in the back of my mind wondered that. You know? It's like, I mean, if a... If, if family members really did want to fuck, I mean, if that's truly what made them happy. Well, there's a lot of good countries that it's actually okay and accepted. Uh, I, Norway is very popular incest community. Nothing you're uh, very saying friendly. is true right now. Nothing I, you're saying. I just is hope true that right shit now. doesn't come over here. That I'm not trying to pay Red for Bull and vodka already. talking. Uh, so, Davey, you have four twin, two four, <laughs> four twins. Two four-year-olds. Yeah, two four-year-old twin boys. Yes. And uh, that's true? They really bash their dicks together? Yeah, they went through a pretty hardcore phase of just mashing them they together. They thought it was funny, or were they yeah. hard? No, I mean, I don't, I don't <laughs> think they can get hard at they, four years. May, maybe they just thought they were walking into a mirror. Hey. They're, they're not identical. They're, they look, they're actually opposite. Looking. Oh, really? The carpet doesn't match the drapes? No. Yeah, one redhead and one uh, redhead? No, I do have one redhead, though. You do have a redhead? Yeah, I got a ginger. Wow. Ew. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. So are uh, you still with the baby mama? I am. I've been married for five years. Five years. Hell yeah. And what do you do for work? I work at a local casino overnight. Oh, shit. What do you do at the casino? Uh, when somebody hits a jackpot, I bring them the money, so I'm like Ooh. a money waiter. Wow, look at you, the fucking jackpot man. Yeah, I called out twice 
to come see Col- Kill Tony. <laughs> hey, look at I've that. I've only called out four times all year. Two of them are to come to the show. Wow, thanks, man. That's so fucking cool. Taking your chances, and it's uh, today you win the jackpot. Maybe. Look at that. Uh, anybody ever do anything crazy when they win something big in the casino? You ever seen anything nuts happen? Like someone um, just like cut off a finger or something? Nah, like they're bump f- dicks. Grave shift in a casino, they're absolute fucking maniacs. Yeah. You got like the worst of the worst people in there at yeah. 4 a.m. Yeah. They don't have work the next day, so you can just only imagine what they So what, what hours doing. do you work? What is the graveyard shift? I work uh, 8 o'clock at night till 6 in the morning. Wow, wow mm-hmm. that's crazy. So when you get home, what, the boys are almost going to be, what, waking up for school when that shit comes around the corner? Yeah, they're, uh, they're off for the summer, so I pretty much get like a nap till noon, and then I have them the rest of the day until oh. my wife gets home from like, like 5 o'clock. Damn. Damn. You're so fucking you, doing you, it. What you, does the wife do for work? She's an orthodontist assistant. She oh. puts on braces. Hell yeah. So you work the opposite hours as your wife. You must have Absolutely. zero love life, so you must take no, advantage no, no. of we all the No, no, We have the same days off. We both work four days a week, so we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday to, so you guys to just, knock the boots. You guys just fucking bash your private parts together. Just like yeah, pretty much. She wants number three right now, so there's do a lot you, of that going on. Do you have any on. special sexual maneuvers that you do in the bedroom that you could teach us? Is there like a special like Davy Collins fucking with a twist? You know what I mean? The old Davy Collins fucking rump roost. There is not an my wife would definitely attest for that. It is not good. No. <laughs> Surprised I made two at one shot, to be honest with you. Wow, look at you. Do you remember the time that you came inside your wife that time? Were you like, ah, uh, ah? Uh. No, because I, I came inside her every time, so it's like, <laughs> what? My goodness. Yo, what's your wife's number? <laughs> hey. What is your wife's number, Davy? I don't no, even I'm know. Just you don't I got know, arrested yeah. before and I couldn't call her. I had to call my grandma because I didn't. I didn't Isn't know that anything. funny? I, I, I only know one phone number. It's my dad's home phone for some It's reason. my grandma's home phone number. She's the only one with a home phone anymore. Yeah. Hell yeah. Does your grandma take loads? She also had twins. Really? My mom's a twin. Wow. I got a six shooter right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Looks like that's the only thing that runs in your family. <laughs> Got a little belly? All right, whatever. Fuck you guys. It's the dad bod. Davey, what's something that we'd be surprised to know about you, maybe from your childhood or your teenage years, something? Uh, I grew up in a trailer park. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> Not surprised. Man, how, how many years of your life did you spend in the trailer park? 13 years. Man, goodness. You were a real little fucking little stump jumping hillbilly, huh? Just out so there. many fights. Just your bare feet with the fucking branch of a tree just looking for shit. Mountain dew cans everywhere. What, uh, Fleas in your belly button. <laughs> what? My, my parents got divorced at six, and my dad took all the beds with him. So I didn't have a bed until I was like nine years old. <laughs> Damn. What did you sleep on? Do you ever see like those little fold out like styro or not styrofoam like yeah. those little, couches, little fold out fold beds? Out. Yeah. yeah. Little, and what, was, what was it like fucking your brothers and sisters on that? <laughs> I what did a share a room with my sister for did, did those ever, thirteen years. Did you ever touch tips with her? Like you ever okay. rub it on the All outside? Right. Red band, red mm, band. Nah. Come on, red band. No, this guy didn't touch tips with his sister. Look my, at him. My Does he seem the like family. he would ever do that? He's closing with an incest. Thing. What made you talk about incest? Uh, cause, just because my sons really were doing that, and that just came to my mind. Like, this is fucking gross. But, like, not that long ago, everybody thought, like, just a regular gay dude was gross in, like, the 60s. So 60 what did you years say to your bo- What do you say to your boys when you see them slamming their dicks together aggressively? <laughs> This is the true story. This is how I got yeah. him to stop doing it. Yeah. I told him that Pee Wee Herman went to jail for touching his own dick in a movie theater. They know who Pee Wee Herman is? A modern day four-year-old? Yeah, he's on Netflix. They oh. love that show. Oh, shit. That but is. then uh, uh, down the road, it morphed into Abraham Lincoln went to jail for touching his dick. I never corrected it. I'm going to let him roll with that. Wow. Jesus Christ. He did take a shot to the head. (laughs) Four score. All right, Davey. Well, fucking great set, man. Is this your first? How often do you do? This is my 
Sixth time. Wow. The first time I ever did it was the night you guys were here in Philly last time. Hell yeah. I didn't get caught up. There was a open mic two blocks away, and I did it my first time that night. I love it, dude. Well, great fucking performance. Thank we you. Love Thank having you. you. Thanks for taking off work and hanging out with us. Thank you, guys. Come on. Make some noise for Davey Collins, Thanks, guys. everybody. That's great. Yeah. Man, can you imagine having twins? No. I can't. I wish you could have half a one. Is that light supposed to be pointed at me? It seems like it's been on a lot lately. <coughs> oh, hmm. it's your Philadelphia cough. Oof. Yeah, we just had a massive lighting change. What? Never mind, I just said we had a massive lighting change right there. I think there. there was. I think there was a lighting change. Make some noise for Kevin Brocious. Your next That's, comedian, Kevin. And the Gorgeous. lucky back corner. Here he comes. He's got a good waddle. Kevin Brocious, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Come on, one more time Thank for you. Kevin, everybody. Thank you. Get this. Get this. I had to take a piss test for my new job. I got 11 feet. I passed the test. They loved it. They hired me on the spot. <laughs> All right, we'll go. <laughs> they didn't like that one. They didn't like that one. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we can all afford the monthly subscription cost of knowing an ex loved one's login credentials. So we're all watching the same thing. We're all watching Netflix. Um, like today, I, uh, I was watching Netflix for most of the day on my ex-girlfriend's account. Just finishing the shows that she had started watching and paused halfway through. I cleaned out the continued watching list. It's gone. I'm petty like that. The my list. I cleaned out the my list. <laughs> Her my list is now my my list. When she logs in next, she's only going to see one show recommendation. Making a murderer. <laughs> I, I did, um, I, I like, uh, there was a Bigfoot documentary I watched recently and I realized that Bigfoot is very similar to my dad of all people yeah uh, because I also have just one blurry picture of him from the late 60s and I don't know if he exists or not I don't know if he's real there you go Kevin Brocious welcome Kevin thank you hello first time doing stand up no it's not no how, how long you been doing it I'm about five years in five years in yeah. The audience gasps for air. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Five years. All of it here in Philly? Um, no, I'm not in Philly. I'm in central Pennsylvania. It, this is the first time doing it with one arm tied behind your back, though, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From where? <laughs> I live in uh, Milton, Pennsylvania. Where's that at? It's just right in the middle of the state. Yo, right. that sounds like the white people part of Pennsylvania. Yes, yes, very. You look, you look like you're from Mill House, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Milton, Pennsylvania. What type of population are they working with down there in Milton? I don't know, maybe 5,000. Wow, 5,000. That's yeah. where you were born and raised? Yeah, near How there. How old are you? 33. 33 years old, been doing comedy for five years. What do you do for work? Currently, I'm cab driving. An actual taxi cab? Correct. None of the Uber. A yellow, Uber. is it yellow? No, it's white. White taxi Correct. cab. How long have you been doing that for? Three months. Three months. And in Milton, they call taxis. There is no Uber, right? There is no Uber. There's no Lyft. Um, it's, um, it's mainly, again, it's like the people who take taxi cabs are, are either extremely poor or extremely rich. It's right. like the people who don't have cars of their own or they can just afford to pay me to drive them around. Right. No, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how taxi cabs work. Yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty international thing. Thank uh, you. Some people have cars. Some people don't. So, Milton, uh, what else in your life? What do you do for fun? Um, this. I just called you Milton. Your name yeah. is Kevin. You're from Milton. <laughs> You're from Milton. Yeah. Milton, what else do you do? And I thought um, Millhouse. I'm about, um, I, 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 I'm an artist as well. Ah, what kind yeah. of art? Graphic art, computer art, typography. You must get all the pussy. Yeah. Out of all the types yeah. of art, those are the ones that really just... You just make font? Oh my God, is that your taxi <laughs> I cab? I have before. 
You're so good at Photoshop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. So uh, you have a girlfriend back in Milton? I I have a uh, a girl, but girl. not necessarily She's not a your friend. She's not a relationship. Enemy. Yeah. She's tied yeah. up. It's not a relationship. <laughs> Why isn't it a relationship? You keep repeating that. Yeah, like she, yeah, no, has, it's like, in like case, she yells it at you once a week. In case she's listening live, I need to just confirm. She's not listening yeah, live, no, I promise not. you that. <laughs> she's dead right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, the internet in Milton isn't strong enough for her to be actually listening live right now. And we're not streaming. I don't know if you know this, but only really poor people and really rich people have the internet in Milton. <laughs> yeah. Either they're at libraries or they have money for the internet. <laughs> what AOL do you use? Like AOL 75? Like what is it on right now? All right. Uh, <laughs> no one even knows what AOL is anymore, do they? <laughs> yeah, we, we know what, yeah, yeah, we know what, we know what AOL is, Brian. But why would that, why would, why would he have AOL? Because he lives in a place that doesn't have Uber. They use taxi cabs still. It, it runs on answering machines. AOL whatever. in prison means ass on legs. Oh, shit. I did not know that. I always learn something new with you, Shanks. Yeah. Uh, so I got to give me some of that AOL. <laughs> so, Milton, I'm just going to call you Milton from here on out. It's good. Because um, I think it's better than Kevin. Might work better. Might work yeah. better. Anyway. Yo, you just conceded your name like that? You'd be a bitch in Britain, <laughs> Yeah, just... I guess my name is Milton now. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> yeah. So, Kevin, when you say that she might be watching, is that because she's a big fan of the show? Uh, no, just to support me. Oh, to maybe? support you. Yeah. But you're, it's not a relationship. You made a real point to say that. Now, why is I know. that? It's because it, we're only a few weeks into it. I don't know how things are going to go. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Kevin, we need to fucking choke you into being a man here today. <laughs> we're going to choke you into being a man. How many people want to see us suffocate this man, this boy? He said it's not a relationship. We're only a few weeks in. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm about to slap the glasses off your fucking face, dude. But she might be supportive enough to already be watching you? That's crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> now that's cool. So She's it's only not. been a few weeks. So what have you guys done? You guys had like a, a picnic under a tree or something like that at the speed that you like to take things. I'm guessing maybe... You, Maybe you saw the new Toy Story 4 and then called it a night, you know what I mean? Or uh, perhaps you, uh, perhaps you, uh, I don't know, what happened? Uh, we just, uh, we, we smash. Whoa, like straight time. to that. Yeah. Wait. Uh, Damn. Just Kevin. Saying, we're adults who have needs. We wow. found each other. Oh, my God. Yo, you See, crazy. <laughs> yeah. We're See, adults that have needs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so you went straight to sex? How long have you known her for? Maybe two years. Maybe two years. Yeah, two and then years. a few weeks ago, what happens? Something happens, right? Yeah, you guys yeah. are hanging out, listening yeah, to Yeah, to hang out. Ask to hang out. We were sitting on... We are listening to the new Ace of Bass song out yeah. in Milton. Yeah. I asked her if she, if she wanted to make out. Yeah, you did? Can you yeah. do it? Can you do it? You were there. I wasn't there. Can you do an exact impression <laughs> of how you asked her to make out? But when you do it, you have to do it to Shanks. Okay. All right. Here, wait, wait. Let's go no music on this. Let's go, let's go absolute zero music. I want to really feel the tension in the room here. So you guys are just hanging out. There is no music happening, right? No. The, no the TV is off? No TV. No TV. What are you guys doing in the room? Sitting next to each other? Sitting, talking. On enjoying. a couch or two separate chairs? Is it like in... Because in Milton, I picture it just being like two of those big lazy boys. You know what I mean? There's like a coffee the table in the, middle, in the middle, an ashtray. Fold-out futon. It, was it a fold-out futon? You bet. Well, why don't you two sit right there on that thing right there? And uh, is that the side that you were sitting on, Kevin? It was. Okay. This is a flashback also, here. Try to be natural. Don't try to act funny. Yeah. I already feel you trying to ham it up. Right. Don't be funny at all. I want this to go exactly how it went a few weeks ago. Was she wearing a revealing dress like that? Hold on. Hold on, big panic. You're not allowed to masturbate during the show. That's one of the rules that we gave you. Uh, so, is this how it was going down? And do you remember the conversation that led into your question? It was a, uh, it was a moment of silence. 
that oh. popped up in the you know that awkward silence. Yes, we had sixty seconds of silence when you were on stage. Thank you. This is perfect. So it's just like this. You guys are hanging out, and then show us how you started this. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I would really like to kiss you. Okay. You're just, you're just putting it out there like that? <laughs> I mean, I guess I like a man who knows what he wants. Oh, what are you going to do to me if I let you kiss me? <laughs> See, she said yes. She oh, yeah, she oh, said, yes, she said yes. Yeah. And then what? And then you leaned in and kissed her? Yeah. How yeah. Did that, what did that look like? What did that look like? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Shanks is giving me... Shanks, Shanks went uncross-eyed for a second and looked right at me. <laughs> no, you don't have to do it. I'm just kidding. Yo, I like my man pussy to be of a certain caliber. <laughs> So she said yes, and then what? You went in straight in for making out because you're an adult that has needs. You got it. And then, and then, then what? You took off your shirt. Yeah, we uh, we just went at it. You just so went. At- you just asked for a kiss, and she gave you the whole thing. <laughs> Is that what happened, Kevin? Well, it took it took a little time. It wasn't Yo, this girl, immediately. Man, this girl made up, man. This girl, <laughs> I was just come on, man. Say. This ain't a real girl. You asked for a kiss, she give you pussy. Come on, man. That Shanks, don't work. Shanks, I'm with come you, on, dude. Man. I'm getting the same vibe right now. He, he, he thinking of things to come up with that actually happened. Then, then, then. I have no idea what the fuck. This grill just... sucks, man. <laughs> I gotta get a new grill up in this bitch. <laughs> No girl have I ever asked for a kiss and then she give me everything. <laughs> right. Yeah, but we're also talking at a place that he's a taxi driver, not Los Angeles. So this might be, you know, hard to get. You weren't, she wasn't in a cab. <laughs> so, no, no, you guys, no. they were, they were, we were on the futon. On the futon. What, yeah. Is it your futon or hers? Hers. And so when, when you say that everything happened, what exactly do you mean? So you're making out, your clothes are still on, then what happens? We just, we, we stripped, we got naked. You and stripped? We bumped our uglies together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. How long did you last? Yo, this sounds like a police <laughs> confession, dog. How long did you last, Kevin? Condom or no condom? Condom. How many? Just one. Where just did the condom come from? Did you have it or did this girl have it? She had it in the side drawer. Oh, oh, oh shit. Then. Wait dude. a second. Was she trimmed? Like, was it really trimmed, or was it like a crazy bush that looks like it hasn't been it unkept for a while? No, it was it was tight, right? Clean. So, clean. So she has a lot of condoms in that side <laughs> table. So, uh, how long do you think he lasted with the condom on? Because you look like you would laugh. You you look like you would come in the condom while putting it on. Yeah. No. It's like, oh, fuck, this never happens. Because no. <laughs> it literally, this never happens to me. Only the really rich and the really poor have condoms. They're built in. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I feel like the story he described is the plot of a sex ed film. <laughs> well, Kevin. Sometimes when you ask to kiss a girl, she gives you everything. <laughs> so you have to be ready. <laughs> Also, I got a question. What's thicker, your dick or the lenses in your glasses? <laughs> Fuck. I can see them up close, man. You can so see into the times, future. How many times have you and this girl have, se- have had sex since a few weeks ago? A dozen. A dozen yeah. times. Twelve times. Yeah. Yeah. Baker's dozen? dozen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is she hitting you up for most of that, or are you hitting her up? Like, what's the deal? It's mutual. Mutual. Yeah. Six and six. <laughs> Have you been counting the condoms in her nightstand? <laughs> no, I had to. I had to go buy some. Whoa. We ran out. Oh my! Whoa! Goodness. So you're serious yeah. about this relationship? Yeah. I had to put. I had to put money down. Wow! For fucking hell yeah! Ultra sensitive Durex condoms. Wow! <laughs> my goodness. Durex. So what do you think it's gonna take for you to say that uh, you're in a relationship with this girl? <laughs> I like where your head's at. <laughs> I like that guy. A dude yelled out anal in the crowd. All right. Hell yeah. That's wifey material. 
All right. I asked you a question, Kevin. Just time. I'd have to ask her. Ask her. I'd, I'd, I'd want to be ready, and I'd ask her. And, and only if I'm ready to take that commitment. Are you on the spectrum? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but uh, to answer your other question, though, too, it's, um, it's, it's I do last longer than I'd like to. Sometimes I don't even come at all. Again, it's the antidepressants. The oh, antidepressants what a problem. Just, they, they fuck you up. They numb you. Hey, man, I'll guys. make you come right now, dog. Come on, man. Do you still get hard? You just can't complete? Sometimes. It's frustrating. Uh, what's the name of this medication? Kevin, I like your style, man. Uh, you know, five years in the game, it's not easy to be doing stand-up comedy in Milton, Pennsylvania. I'm positive of that. And, uh, and the fact that you even listen to this show and know about it, you know what I mean, just goes to show you probably just had a rough night and uh, you probably have better jokes than what you did here tonight and how they came off. You know, and another thing is the longer sometimes people do this, the more stress they put on themselves to do great. And then that nervousness hits you harder when you got up here. You think that might be what happened tonight? <laughs> okay. No, no. Uh, I just need to keep just need to keep writing. You know what? You can stand up now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there he goes. Kevin Brocious, everybody. Let's keep it moving along. Oh my goodness. Right now. Back to Milton Pencil. <laughs> All right, pulled it on the name of. You guys having fun out there? How many of you like it when comedians do good on this show? How many of you like it when comedians do bad on this show? Wow, that's incredible. That's why we love Philly and Philly loves us. You guys have hateful hearts. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Nick Davis, everybody. Here we go. We're keeping it moving. Flying through it. Here he comes. Nick Davis, everyone. Hey, how you guys doing the nights? Fuck yeah. Guys, I'm, uh, I'm the oldest of three. Uh, remember the oldest? You're kind of a guinea pig. I never got a sex talk as a kid. I just thought sex was kissing with your clothes off, which is close. One time I got out of the shower, I kissed my cat on the head. Thought I fucked my cat, you guys. Went up to my mom and I was like, hey mom, just had sex with the cat. Still no sex talk. I'm losing weight now. I'm losing weight. I've lost 50 pounds this year. Fuck off. Um, I still shit liquid most days. I'm not healthy, all right? But my goals aren't like everybody else's. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight to increase the number of objects I can successfully hang myself from. Yeah, right now, right now I'm at like a sturdy tree branch. But I hope to get down to a ceiling fan one day. Hell Thank you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See that? Look at that. He did like a he did almost a reverse of what uh, Dorian Vasquez did. Dorian did a slamming 45 seconds and then sort of fizzled out at the end. Nick, you did a good 45 seconds and then hit the gas thank right you. in the last yeah, 15. Thank you. thank you guys. And it get, thank leaves you. you with a different taste in your mouth. It's a big part of this whole thing is closing strong. So that was fun, Nick. You've been on the show, what, a couple times, I feel uh, like. Just once. Only once. Yeah. Where was that at? Milwaukee. Your, your favorite city, Milwaukee. Wow. Yeah. The absolute garbage town of America, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I mean, the absolute top of the map, yet the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. I mean, just garbage. Yeah. I mean, right up there with Rochester, New York, Albany, New York. Woo! I mean, right just there. the fucking scum of the earth. Pl a place I will never go again. It's the right choice. But I'm I not. will be back to Philly, Pennsylvania. <laughs> With all that hate comes a lot of love. Brotherly love. Anyway. Yeah. Posters available for sale after the show. Anyway, uh, 
So, um, Nick, yeah. let's talk about it, dude. What, okay. uh, what do we need to know about you? You look like you just got back from a fishing trip at the Playboy Mansion. What's going on here? Uh, I, uh, last time I was on the show, we talked about uh, my employment. I actually got fired from Olive Garden since last being on the show. Whoa, you got oh, fired? Right. Did it have anything? Did we never made it that afternoon. You never made we had it, a, no. We had a good laugh about uh, two hours out of town, like, oh, shit, we forgot about the Olive Garden. Yes. They, I, they forgot about me, so it's fine. Yeah, we were supposed yeah. to meet him on Keltoni. He said he was working on the route that we had to go to the next city the next day, about 45 minutes out of town. He was on that Olive Garden. and uh, we Somebody else came, though, right? Like somebody- yeah, there was one guy who came in. He was in like six shows on the tour from Canada. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, and then he got on in Chicago and talked about how much methamphetamine he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was, was the only guy. Oh. Heck, yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Fuck he tipped yeah. me well. It was fun. Why'd you get fired? Uh, honestly, I went to uh, I went to Skankfest and I saw you guys there. I had a really good time over there. And then I got back from New York and returned to Kenosha, Wisconsin, where I live, and was in a massive depression hole. And I lost my voice, so I couldn't really surf. So I called in on I texted in on Saturday because I couldn't talk. And then Sunday, I was in such a piss poor mood, I just like put my phone like away, and I'm like, I can't do this today. And then they just fired. So I kind of chose to get fired. I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I couldn't surf. Yeah, thank are you, you. Are you working somewhere uh, better now, like Applebee's um, or something? Uh, I actually I worked at an Applebee's before I worked at Olive Garden. Um, no, I got a new job. Uh, I'm supposed to start on Monday, but I've been doing like random odd jobs and like selling shit for money. That's how I came here. I've been doing graphic design work, cleaning houses, yard work. I've been selling like my record player and shit just Hell to yeah. come and hang out. I, uh, Do you think being fired from the Olive Garden has helped you lose weight? Uh, <laughs> uh, I've had, no, no. No, not really. Uh, you stop eating the food pretty quick. You get over pretty fast. You know what I mean? Right. Did they yeah. fire you awkwardly? Or were they like, you know, Nick, look, when you're here, you're family, but you've been calling off a lot. Yeah, they disowned me. Yeah. Uh, what's no, the rest of your work. life like? What do you, um, I mean, honestly, I've been uh, just working to try to make any money right now. That's all I've really been doing. I try to do stand-up as much as possible. Uh, anywhere from three to six nights a week, I'll get up. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's a lot of driving because I live between Milwaukee and Chicago, so it's a lot of driving. So it's working right. to put you gas in, in my you car. You live in uh, Milton? Uh, yeah, I live, uh, uh, actually, he and I are roommates. Yeah, no, I live in Kenosha, Wisconsin, just between Milwaukee and Chicago. Ah, the Milton of Wisconsin. Exactly, you got it. All right, any other fun facts we should know about you? I worked at, uh, and if we're doing job stuff, I worked at Six Flags, Great America, for eight years, and I can, I can juggle. Uh, I don't know. What it's, can you juggle? What do you know how to juggle? Just like Obviously th- not a job. Yeah. No, dude, I've been... <laughs> just like three balls. I can juggle three balls. Does anybody have three balls on them? Is yeah. There, uh, <laughs> they have two. Fuck you, bro. Of I have one. You have, two. you have one? Wow. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, well, nothing too fun. Well, Nick, we're going to fly through this one because you've been yeah. on this show before. There he goes, it. Nick Thank Davis, you guys. everybody. Oh, yeah. On to the next one. This is the great Jay-Z that once said, on to the next one. Put your hands together for Chris Coletti, everyone. Here we fucking go. That you would step back from, from that ledge, my friend. Yeah, from that ledge, my friend. Oh, here we go. Hey. I wish that you would step back from that motherfucking ledge, 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 my friend. Hey, here he is, Chris Coletti, everybody. All right, thank you very much. I got a rash one time because I cut my ass shaving. Well, not really my ass, my taint. I cut my taint shaving, and then I took a messy shit and wiped the wrong way. Which is how I know I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't last three days with a vagina. I wouldn't make it three seconds. I would get that thing so infected so quick. Well, I broke it already. Mom, mom, it's dead. I killed my pussy. I stabbed it too many times, and now it's bleeding. You know, I'd just be running around, shoving all kinds of shit in there like a wood chipper. Hmm, what else can this thing take? Ooh, that was a big one. That one kind of hurt. <laughs> In a good way. You know, my fingers would just be pruny all the time. What happened to you, Chris? Why are you smelling your hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. They, uh, they're always like this. I got sweaty hands. Wow, Chris Coletti. My goodness. Hell yeah. This is your first time on the show? Uh, yes. Red Band Monthly Magazine already calls you one of the top young rising comedians in the world. I was going to say, I've heard that material before. 
Have you? No. Oh. You look like an Amish reboot. <laughs> you look like uh, you look like what uh, what uh, Milton's gonna look like when he gets out of that relationship that he's about to get into. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Chris. You look like you're Thank your you. own lawyer. Am I correct about that? Yeah, pretty much. Do all, do all what do my you do for shit. work, Chris? Uh, right now, I'm super unemployed. Super, super. unemployed. Yeah. Really? What did you do before that? Accounting was... for Banana Republic. <laughs> I wish that would have been much nicer. I was waiting tables in Baltimore. Wow. Okay. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about six, seven years. Six or seven years. Where at? Mostly Baltimore. Baltimore. Hell yeah. Interesting scene there, right? Oh, yeah. It's awesome down there. I miss it, actually. You really? Yeah. What do you like about Baltimore? Uh, just the comedy scene, pretty much. Really? But yeah. isn't it mostly uh, what they would call urban comedy clubs? Uh, not really. I mean, there's definitely a lot of those, but it's, like, it's, it's really diverse, would actually. Would you say too many? Like, what's the place that you perform at in Baltimore? What do you consider your home club? You and Oh, my home club? I would say the Sidebar Tavern. That's really where I got my start. It's on Lexington Street, uh, right next to City Hall. It's a dope room. And, yeah. like, they get regular audiences there? Oh, it's mostly just an open mic. They don't really do show shows there. Let me check in with Shanks for a second here. Yeah, can we just mention his set, like... <laughs> Well, it's clear he hasn't had sex with a lot of women because he thinks poop comes out of a pussy. <laughs> He's like, if I had a pussy, there'd be poop everywhere. <laughs> wow. I'm like, dude, you don't know anatomy at all. <laughs> I, Shanks, I don't think he was saying he thinks that poop's going to come out of his pussy. He's saying that when he cut his taint, he wiped from back to front, pushing poop into the taint hole. Yeah, he said he's he would saying that he would, he, He's saying that he would shove poop into his vagina man, by white. Man, <laughs> thank you for breaking that down for no, him No, don't over-explain it. He thinks poop that. come out of a pussy dog. <laughs> 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 well, is that true? You think poop come, come out of a pussy dog? Have you ever pooped oh, in a yeah. pussy? Your poop pussy, you know, starts with the same letter. That makes sense. It's okay, Chris. Let's talk about it. So, where do you live now? Baltimore. Uh, I just moved to Fishtown. What's that? I feel like you people. It's, we're like cheer where you're at right now. Like just like I literally. Oh, this is it. So my why, what, what, what made you move away. here? Uh, I was not really having a good time in Baltimore anymore, and my sister was like, "Hey, my friends have a spot open in their apartment," and I was like, "I guess I'm moving." When you say you weren't having fun in Baltimore anymore, what exactly? do you mean? What happened there? What was going on in your life? You, you could share with us. <laughs> we, we like compelling nature uh, stories I here. I was just, uh, didn't like where I was living anymore. I didn't like my job. Um, and uh, just needed something new. Just needed a change of pace. Interesting. What about friends or girlfriend or anything like that? You know, I have friends. Um, oh, geez. All right. Yeah, sure you did. Definitely got those. <laughs> What were your friends like? Uh, you know, other comedians. Also, um, did you guys all get together sometimes and drink coffee in the afternoons at a uh, little coffee shop? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, mostly not really coffee. Um, you ever ask your friends drinking. over uh, to sit on a futon and ask if it's okay if you could kiss them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have done that. Wow. So, how has life changed for you? How long ago did you move here? Like. Three weeks. Three weeks. Two and a half weeks. What have you like noticed? That. What's 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 going on here? What's the report? Well, you know, so far so good. I mean, I still haven't found a fucking job, so it's not. You look like if Groucho no. Marx was really into IPAs. <laughs> <laughs> and not funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think he's right on that one. But, ma- Groucho, but again, Groucho Marx he nailed it. Maybe it's it was a, maybe it was a rough set. So, uh, what, 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 what else about you? Like, tell us something very interesting about Chris Coletti. There must be something. Your parents were in the mob or something like that. No, no. I got a twin sister. Oh. Does yeah, she look uh, just like you? Nope. Oh. Nope. nope. She looks like my mom. No, she got, mom. she got poop in her pussy, man. <laughs> oh, my God. So much poop in the pussy. Wow. Wow. So, Chris. Yes. So far, so good. No job. Yep. What do you yep. think you're going to end up doing here? What did I... What? Say what that? do you think you're going to end up working as here in uh, Philly? 
Probably, I mean, this, hopefully more of this. I would love to do more of this um, and get bombed. paid for it. I would like to... Yeah, I mean, if I would get paid to bomb, I would get paid to bomb, you know. Oh, join ISIS. Mm. Hell yeah. Well, Chris, we're going fl- to keep we're going to keep flying through it here. Uh, yeah, it was nice to meet you, man. Thank you. 6 6 uh 6 or 7 years doing this. Uh, you know, just fucking keep at it and have fun <laughs> if it's if it's what makes you happy. If you love doing it, then fucking Yeah. Keep rocking it, man. We'll, we'll see you again yeah. next time. Fuck do a yeah. different minute next time. All right, thank you very much. For the love of God. Um, let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Aaron Kilty, everyone. Aaron Kilty. Here we go. Wow. Front that. row. Oh my goodness. Right from the front. Here we go. Come on, make some noise for Aaron Kilty, everybody. Come on. That came up out of nowhere. Um, my name is Aaron. Something about me. I'm a fucking scrub. You can <laughs> kind of tell. Uh... I know this because the other day, this girl told me, she was like, Aaron, like, what do you even do? Right? I was, I was like, fuck you, mom. Like, I'm fucking talking shit like that. And it, it's, not, it's not just my mom, it's my dad, too. Like, I asked him for a dollar the other day, and he was like, you need a dollar? Like, you broke? I was like, yeah, I'm asking for a fucking dollar. He was all like, uh... He was all like, you're you're fucking broke because you don't work, and that's because you're lazy. How did I not instill any of my work ethic into you? I just wanted a dollar, but... All right, so he watches TV every day before he goes to work. I'm I'm white, so I fucking broke his TV right when he left. I was like, fuck this guy, talking shit. He comes home, he was all like, Aaron, what happened to my TV? I was like, what do you mean? It's, It's broke. I was like, you sure it's not just lazy? Why don't you fucking put some work ethic into it, motherfucker? Oh, my God. All right. Thanks. Aaron Kilty. Hell, yeah. Hi, Aaron. What's up, dude? Uh, How are you? Look at you, little fucking Tom Petty, illegitimate child-looking motherfucker. (laughs) Look at you. Hell, yeah. Oh, my God. You look like... Dude, I fucking watch you guys... So much. This is I crazy. Love to me. That. I love that. I I've watched a lot of you too. I mean, you are you know you are fucking David Spade and Gollum from Lord of the Rings. I've seen all of your films. You're incredible. I like you in everything. Lord of the Rings, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, Home Alone, Home Alone. Fuck yeah, Homo Alono. Yep, that's one. Nice to, uh, nice to meet you, man. So, Aaron Kilty, you from here in Philadelphia? No, I'm from Arizona, living in Maryland. Living in, living in Maryland? Yeah. Oh, Baltimore? I heard a place just opened up there a few weeks ago. <laughs> what are you doing in Maryland? I'm like an hour away, about a place called Havre de Grace. So Why? Why'd you end up there? I, you fish? I got in trouble in Arizona. So you, I'm, What'd you get in trouble for in Arizona? I was moving weed around. Yeah, you were. Hell yeah. So what'd they do? They try to put you in fucking Tent City or something? I, I went to a low, but I was in uh, 16 months, and then I wow. came to Maryland. Me too, dog. I didn't even get raped. Six, no, we believe God. you. We believe you. Sure. You uh, want to? 16, <laughs> 16. You did 16 months in prison? All right. Is big panic. Dog? Sit down. <laughs> sit down, big panic. Uh, 16 months? Yeah. What was the hardest part for you? Other than the penis that was in your butt. I know Big Panic wants to say that right now. Go ahead, Aaron. What was the, what was the hardest part for you? Um, honestly, I, it was fucking... I had like a checklist I wanted to do. I wanted to smoke, get a tattoo, get into a fight, and I did all of it. It was kind of easy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty what happened with the fight? How would the fight happen? I got into three, actually. I got jumped on the basketball court one time because I was just... I was trying to be a bully, and I looked like this, so it right. didn't really work out. How were you being a bully? What would you do? Uh, there was this older guy, and he was talking about having next, and I was like, I fucking got next. Right, because that's then, what you have to do in prison, right? When you look like a, a grown-up Chucky doll, you have to be like, oh, fuck you. I got this. Be afraid. Even though I, you don't know why you're afraid, be afraid. 
I got I next. Think. And they're just like, no, you don't. Look at you. It's actually fucking crazy. I wouldn't ever say this usually, but fuck it. Um, the dude who started the fight had one leg. And he walked on a wooden like thing like a pirate. And he, he like smacked me in my lip. He fucking basically kicked you in the face. He fucking he started that. He shit. swung his own leg at you. And then the he old guy. His, he pooped. popped his leg off and swung it at you. No, nah, just a, just open hand. Oh, open yeah. hand. So he had one leg on. Yeah, he was he was like this, and and I was like, <laughs> all right. He that, slapped you. Yeah. That and then dude. That the dude. First, wa- that dude wanted to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nah, he was there with his friend. His friend, his old guy punched me in the back of the head. But Damn. it was whatever. Fuck yeah. Wow. So it was get, a crazy little fight, though. It was definitely, a, definitely a crazy little fight if you were in it. You, you had a leg up on the competition and still got bitch slapped, it sounds like. Uh, how about your other two fights? What, what went on there? Uh, one was with a roommate. We were just having a disagreement. I, I think you mean cellmate. Fool. I do a lot of things that I can't really fucking like do. Right. Like I try to fight yeah. a lot of people and it doesn't yeah. work out a lot. Man. And just all for having pot on you. Selling pot. Yeah. Intent to sell pot. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So now here you are. You're in Maryland. You're on the run from the law. You're living that fucking bloodline lifestyle up here. Just, and what are you doing now? Fucking, I'm a scrub, dude. I fucking, I literally don't do anything. What do you mean you literally? I've had like 15 different jobs since I got out. So like today, for example, well, let's go with yesterday, because today you came here. So yesterday, what, did, what was that day like? Where'd you wake up? Home with my people. My yeah, home dad. with your people. That's my where I'm going to start is right there. When you, uh, if when you, you say th- home with your people, you live with your parents. Anyone oh. who says like my people. Oh, we don't know what you're talking. We, if you say that, that means you live with your parents. Yep. <laughs> no one else would say, "Oh, I woke up at home with my people," unless they have a cult or something like that. <laughs> okay, so you woke at ho- you live with your parents. They live in Maryland. You, yeah. When you went to Arizona, you got in trouble, and now you're back. Yeah. Got it. Now, now I got it. Uh, so, uh, what are your parents like? Vanilla. Vanilla. Very. Yeah, what, what does your dad do? He's a maintenance man? No. They work in the government. They, oh, work in the government. Wow, hell yeah, uh, look at you. And they got yeah. this little rebellious son. They just can't keep their fucking hands on. Went out to Arizona. I don't know, Maryland people don't have that accent. <laughs> wow. So are they a little bit disappointed in you, you think? Like, come on, get your shit together, Aaron. Yeah. How old are you? 25. 25. So what's Ugh. your goal? So like yesterday, you woke up at the, your home with the people, then what? Would you have, did you have breakfast? Did you go for a run? No. Take I, some vitamins? I, I smoke a lot. Yeah. And I, I watch a lot of shit. I've watched fucking every single Kill Tony, basically. Yeah. What else, what, what, what else do you like to watch? What else are you into? The fucking rabbit hole of YouTube, honestly. Does I watch conspiracies? When you said Eddie Bravo's coming on, I was like, sweet. Do you think it's a flat Earth? <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Wow! I think this guy might believe this. So if the planet was flat, you know, and the sun and everything, wouldn't it be just bright all day long? I don't give a fuck. I don't like. When it comes to that specifically, the flat Earth is like. I don't care. You believe it. You do believe it. You look like zombie Kurt Cobain, fool. (laughs) He does. All right, Aaron. Well, congratulations on getting up here, man. You fucking, uh, you had some, uh, you had a couple decent fucking jokes in there. How long you been doing stand-up? First time. First time, everybody. There he goes, Aaron Kilty. We've not had a, uh, we are yet to, uh, we are yet to get a woman up here tonight. Should I go through the bucket till I find a woman, huh? Let's, e- let's equalize the balance here. Let's see what happens here. Well, Dezawa probably isn't a woman, right? Dezewa? Dezewa. Dezi- Dezi- hey, I- Tony. Tony, what? I- what? 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 Is that a girl? 
I don't know what you're saying. It's well, okay. Well, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Okay, I got, I got it, Big Panic. Thank you. Dan Callahan, Matthew Bright, Mike Kshawa, Tom Thrash. How about Masha? Is Masha, girl? Wow. Oh, it there is? we go. Masha? Masha? Yeah, there she is. Here she back. comes. Holy shit. And people from the front knew who she was. So it's this happening, is people. The crowd goes crazy for Masha. Here we go. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Masha, everybody. <sighs> for, uh, for the longest time, I thought that the term baby boomer meant pedophile. <laughs> I'm sorry, English is not my first language, so I, th I thought they were, they were booming babies. No, they're out there, booming babies. I'm originally from white Russia. I grew up dr drinking vodka, uh, working the potato fields, wearing Adidas track suits. <laughs> I came to America after attack by street bear. Please, please bear with me. I do have an accent parked outside. It's a Hyundai. <laughs> it's a Hyundai accent. <laughs> wow, Masha. Welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Wow, look at you. I like your style. You're in such a pretty dress. You have real shoes on. The last guy was wearing moccasins with holes in them. You just classed up this whole fucking stage. You're like some type of like a uh, Russian princess or something like that. Okay. That's with the Russian national anthem. Do you know this song? All right, all right. That's good. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My goodness, welcome. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Three years. Three years. All of it here in Philly? Um, also in Las Vegas. Also in Las Vegas. You, you just do gigs out there sometimes, or you stayed out there for a while? Uh, I lived there for three years. Oh, okay. How long have you lived here? Uh, I originally came to Philly after I moved, uh, and then I've been most of my life here in Philly. Oh, okay. Most of your life here. How long were you in Russia for? Uh, I was uh, there till I was five, and then I've been back, gotcha. back and forth. So you didn't really get attacked by a street bear? I, I did. Really? Yeah. What the fuck is a street bear? Well, so, so they have little bears on leashes that you can come take pictures with, mm -hmm. and these bears uh, do not like flash photography. And Yo, <laughs> you talking about dogs in America. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Kurt, Khabib Nurmagomedov calls them sparring partners. <laughs> My goodness. So you saw a street bear, and were you getting a picture taken with it? Or yeah, did, did yeah. You... My, my, my papa said, he like, go, go take a picture, and then... Right. Masha, go take a picture with the yeah. bear. Street bear, Masha, get a picture. I'm a Russian. Hey. Chernobyl never really happened. Don't worry about it. We let the chemical up in the air. Who cares? Uh, You've like met that? my dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So nailed it. What's your dad's name? You have a Russian cool uh, name. Oh, yeah. Igor? Uh, Vigor? Um, uh, Sergei. Sergei. The only other uh, option. That would have been my third yeah. fucking guess. I one time pointed out that his name meant like Sergei, like a, like a homosexual knight, and he did not like that. No. <laughs> what <laughs> what do you mean, uh, Sergei? No way. I never do anything gay in life except dick in butt. Dicky butt. <laughs> wow. So, you close with your dad? Uh, yeah. How did he end up out here? He moved here during... Uh, yeah, uh, my parents brought me here. We won the green card lottery. Wow. The diversity visa. Hell yeah, ka-ching. Look yeah. at you. That's a real thing, the green card lottery. Yeah. How many people play that? Is it like a scratch-off? Uh, it's just like meeting the quotas from each country, and I'm from uh, Belarus, white Russia, so it's... Right. 
So, uh, do you, you go out there and visit? Uh, yes. You love it out there? Uh, no. Right. You prefer it here? Yes. Yeah. You like, uh, you like American boys? Is that your thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never been with a Russian man. Right. You ever been with a black guy before? Oh, yeah. Wow. Hell, yeah. Masha. Woo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. My goodness, Masha. You said, oh, yeah, like Macho Man Randy Savage there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my goodness, is that your preference, that type of guy, or is uh, it really just anybody with the uh, like Baltimore? I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate, really. Wow, yeah. I like your style. Heck yeah! So, uh, you live here in Philly now, mm-hmm. and uh, what do you do for fun? Tell us more about you. You have any like I, uh, uh, nesting I, dolls or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. I have a bunch. I uh, keep my weed yeah. and them. Um, Hey. Because what cop is going to go, like, open every <laughs> single doll? <laughs> yeah. That's, an apl- that's a solid applause break right there. Look at that. Yeah. Her, her vagina is actually like a nesting doll. When she hooks up with a black dude, it's the big one. When it's an Asian dude, it's the little tiny one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, Shanks. He's getting a little dirty over there. Yeah, dog gets dirty in prison. Wow. So, Masha, how do you make a living? Uh, I'm actually a... Okay. There you uh, go. Russian to English uh, legal translator. Wow. Legal translator. My goodness. So, I do documents or I appear in court and uh, translate verbally. Have you gotten a lot of work from the old uh, Russian never nothing ever happened thing that happened? I have translated some classified KGB documents. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Can you give us classified, a little... I can't talk, I can't talk about of it. Of course, <laughs> my goodness. Confidential. Can you say something, uh, can you tell us something sexual in Russian and then afterwards tell us what you said in English? Can you, like it doesn't have to be like, you know, it could be like uh, silly or whatever, but like. Uh, yeah, you can say something like, oops, poop came out of my pussy again. Yeah. <laughs> you can say, say that in Russian. <laughs> yep. But then, oi kakashki vupali is my is my blagashi. Wow. Hey, wait. Did you just say poop came out of your pussy in Russian? Yeah. Wow. I could tell. I remember that from Russian class. I'm a translator. It's what I do. No, I love it. So say, give us another example of something like that, like just something weird in, that you would uh, that you could say. Давай пойдем найдем две лягушки. Ooh, what does that mean? Uh, uh, let's go find some frogs. <laughs> let's go find some prawns? Fro- frogs. So, like ribbit, fro- ribbit, ribbit, so ribbit. Gushki is frogs? Ligushki. Ligushki. Man, that makes Yo, me that's our word. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My goodness. What's up, my Ligushki? <laughs> Well, Masha, I'll tell you, you, uh, you represented the ladies great up here tonight. I mean, just unbelievable. Great performance. Very solid. Great interview. Well spoken. So much fun. You came ready to fucking perform. You look great. Like a star. How about, some, how about a hand for Masha, everybody? She's on Instagram at Masha Room. Guys, you think we're really out of time, but you think we should do one more out of this bucket? Good or bad, it's got to be the end, though. We're going to do it one last bucket pull, and then we're going to wrap this thing up and fucking uh, sign some posters and albums for you on your way out. There's also the new Kill Tony pin is available, glow in the dark, double reinforced steel. There's also a Tony Hinchcliffe pin with my face on it. And uh, the mustache is optional. All right. And I brought anyways. some Death Squad pins also. There you go, Death Squad pins. And uh, Reagan and Watkins album. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of TJ Dexter. Here he comes. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. It will be the final comedian. Guys, this is the biggest ever Kill Tony in our history. Is that exciting or what? What's up, guys? Does anyone remember the first time they felt unattractive? When I was about 12 years old, I was almost kidnapped. With a group of kids, we were in the uh, neighborhood looking for a dog, and this guy pulls up in his van, and he's like, hey, guys, 
get in my van. I want to love you. Let me make love to you. Please get in my van. And my first initial thought was, well, you know, fuck that. My second thought was, well, if you are going to offer to me to get in the van and you want me to bend over and take up Polaroids in my butt, as a kid, you should probably offer a little bit more than love. How about the kittens, candy, puppies, the whole nine that you would actually have in the PSAs when you're younger? But the guy's focus on my little brother. He's just staring at him. He's like a hunter sees his prey. And I look at him and I go, I get a little jealous. So I start hiking up my shorts. I start going up to him and start poking up my butt a little bit. And I go, make an angry kid's face. And, like, and now my initial thought was, I want the kids in the background to think that I'm there to protect them, you know? But at the same time, if anyone's gonna get raped that night, it's gonna be me. So, in my best 12 year old voice, I go, hey! Kids, go! You! That love is still available? Can, can I do it? Wow. TJ Dexter. <laughs> My God. This is why... This is why sometimes it's not good to go back to the bucket one more yeah. time. Beautiful Russian woman. We could here. have ended it all with Masha. It was a story that you just can't beat. She made it out of a dilapidated Belarus. She had poop and in then her we pussy. have this spoiled, rotten yes. American kid with no punchlines whatsoever. None. None. My goodness. Look at you. Uh, first time to one stand up, right? Very first time. I don't even know. If, I mean, I guess we could consider it that. That was like the beginning of a long story. Yes. Uh, you know what, TJ? I just don't think we could fucking leave with that taste in our mouths. I just, I'm just using my gut here. That's fine. Yeah. Throw that mic back in the mic stand. Go back to your seat. We're going to go back one more time. But this is it. I believe. We got to do a quick one. I believe in miracles. The most Come Eisley on, Cantina. gay black guy. Gay black guy. Come on. Put your hands together for Joe Tongle, everyone. Joe Tongle. Joe T-O-N-G-L-E. I'm not seeing movement here. Oh, that's him right in the back corner right there. Is that? We have somebody coming. Here he is. Wow, from the very back. Oh, hell yeah. I, I can already tell I like this guy. Here he comes. Joe Tongle, everybody. This is going to be your final comedian of the night, live from the Fillmore in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fillmore, how the fuck is it going? All right. I feel like if you've licked my asshole, you have to at least acknowledge me in public. You know? That's kind of like a special thing we have, you know? So I saw my ex-girlfriend. I was walking out of the gas station, and I see her walking in, so I hold the door. Not even a hello, not a nod, like, that's something we had. Like, you know, we should have like a signal, you know, if we see each other, like, you know, like a wave or, you know, like Jeter tip of the cap, you know? Just not fair. Whew. So I'm 22 years old and I live at home. <laughs> thank you, man, thank you. And um, it's a weird age because I'm at the point where I see people younger than me being way more successful. Like last year for the Steelers, Juju Smith-Schuster caught a th 100 y uh, passes for 1,000 yards. And I have early onset diabetes. So, uh, so that's great. Another reason why you know, I really want to uh, move out finally is because uh, after a long day home, a long, bleh, a long day at work, I come home and uh, I saw my dad butt-ass naked in the kitchen eating Girl Scout cookies. Do you, know what it's, <laughs> do you know what it's like to see dad dick at 22? I remember the veins. Thank you, guys. Joe, you are adorable. Joe Tongle. What's up, man? You. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fucking nervous as shit. You are just a big little fucking cutie pie. Thank you, man. Look at you. I just want to roll you down a fucking sledding hill or something like <laughs> Thank that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Watch you get all covered in snow. Like, Tony, why'd you do that? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Yeah, let's check in with Shanks over there. Yeah, can I just say this is the best Artie Lang has ever looked? <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's also the best Amy Schumer has ever looked as well. It's crazy. Is, is, that, Ouch. is that a can of dip in your pocket or bubble tape? It's, it's dip. Yeah, oh, wow. it's dip. Oh, it's <laughs> still dip? Red Band, how many people you roll with and pull out bubble tape? <laughs> <laughs> Dip was even a thing still. Wow. 
Come yeah, on. dip's dip's still a thing. <laughs> was that dip or bubble tape? Are you happy to see me? <laughs> That'd be awesome if it was bubble tape. I love it. Joe, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, just over a year. Just over a year. Fuck yeah. All here in Philly? I'm from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Wow. Look at that. Whoa. Wow, that explains the chewing tobacco. Now much, I get yeah. it. I'm actually a door guy at the Pittsburgh Improv. Really? You're going to so be I, there this weekend? Oh, I'll be seating everyone well, there. Well, what are the odds of that? I'm doing two shows there tomorrow night. One stand-up oh, show, one Kill Tony, and then two stand-up shows on Saturday all at the Ab- Pittsburgh Improv. Absolutely. You're going to be working the door this weekend? Yes, sir. Well, how fucking cool is that, Joe? Yeah. The show was almost over, and we needed, to, uh, we needed to bridge it with one more likable person, <laughs> and you were able to do it. Uh, that's so fucking cool that uh, we're going to get to hang out a little bit this week and hopefully not too much. I don't want you barging your head in on the green room or anything like that. Like, hey, Tony, nah. you need anything? It's me, Joe. They, you know put, the, I mean? they like, put the bigger guys there. I'm too I'll short to stand by your door. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, 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 I think you're just the right height to stand by my... I like, I like a good, you know, fucking lawn Buddha. I'm as tall as I am wide, so it works out fine. Lawn fun. Buddha? No, that's not <laughs> the right... The gnome. <laughs> lawn gnome. <laughs> That's Lon Buddha. The fuck's the Lon Buddha, Tony? Lon Buddha. God right damn here. it. I knew I should have drank another Alpha Brain before this. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, tell us something super embarrassing about you that you would never want anyone to know, but you don't know why you just set it into a microphone. The I had a threesome when I was 19. Uh-huh. It was two girls. Uh-huh. And mid-threesome, this girl's uncle walked in uh-huh. and like tried to sell her Coke. And like he started freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. And then he, what was like, he freaking out about? Because he my dick was inside his niece. Oh, so what did he say? He started freaking out, and then he said, when "I want." Yep. He said, "I want to shake your hand, but I don't, and it's still like hurt." Like I don't. Well, know I don't why. think that's really freaking out. Yeah, I no, think... he really like at first I was really scared. Yeah, what? Did, what's the, you remember anything he said? He started saying, like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, you told me to come over here. I feel like the, she wanted me to see it. Wow. Like, she wanted him to see it. Like, it was weird. Fuck yeah, yeah. That, that's the uncle right there. Yeah, there he is. Uh, <laughs> completely recovered. Well, Joe, uh, congrats on getting up, man. We're going to see you all weekend in Pittsburgh. Absolutely, man. So uh, we'll see you there, buddy. Absolutely, there goes Joe guys. Tongle, everyone. Guys, we did it. Our fucking second time in Philly this year. It's unbelievable breaking the rules coming back too soon did you guys have fun tonight how about another hand for the great and powerful shanks jeremiah Watkins over there on the yo make some teams. noise out there people huh there you go A little something for the internet you fucks there's joelberg joel jimenez huh guys come on it's fucking joelberg make some noise people Social media, mostly sorry. Jeremiah's Jeremiah's stand up. Jeremiah Wonders new episode. He's got the album for sale after the show. Anything else, guys? Oh, we love you. Thanks for coming. Hey. All right. We fucking did it. We love you guys so much. Uh, and uh, and don't forget, uh, we love you guys. What else is it? Red Band? Uh, nothing much. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Really, this is a. Uh, it's a massive fucking venue, and we were so excited to come back here, and we love you guys for being such an amazing, loyal base here in Philly. Thank you, guys. Good night. <laughs>